Connecticut State Facts for Kids Connecticut is considered one of the New England states and is bordered by Massachusetts in the north, Rhode Island in the east, a body of water called the Long Island Sound in the south, and New York in the west. Connecticut can be divided into three geographic regions. The western upland, which covers roughly the western third of Connecticut, is filled with steep hills, including the state's highest point, Mount Frisell standing at 23,080 feet above sea level. The central lowland in the middle of the state is known for ridges and valleys that were created by volcanic eruptions between 150 and 200 million years ago. Because of this volcanic activity, the area contains lots of igneous, or lava-based, rocks such as basalt. It's also where the state's longest river, the Connecticut, flows. The eastern upland in the east is filled with hills, rivers, and dense forests. More than 10,000 years ago, the first people arrived in the region that is now Connecticut. Native American tribes including the Mohegan, Pequot, and Niantic resided in this area a few thousand years later. The name, Connecticut, comes from a Native American word, Quinnetucket, roughly meaning, beside the long tidal river. It refers to the Connecticut River, which cuts through the middle of the state. The first European settlement in Connecticut was founded in 1633 after the arrival of Dutch traders in 1614. Early in the 1630s, both Dutch and English colonists established towns in Connecticut, and the region quickly became a British colony. The colonists became dissatisfied with British control over time. Along with delegates from the other American colonies, Connecticut's representatives signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. View of this, the American Revolution began, lasting until 1783, when the colonies legally obtained independence from British domination. On Wednesday, January 9, 1788, Connecticut became the fifth state to ratify or sign the U.S. Constitution five years later. Hartford was established as the state's capital and Connecticut began using the abbreviation C and T. The state's flag is a white Baroque shield with three grapevines, each bearing three bunches of purple grapes on a field of royal blue. The banner below the shield reads, Qui transtilit sustinet, Latin for, He who transplanted sustains, which is Connecticut's state motto. Connecticut earned its nickname, the Constitution State, because it's home to what some consider the United States' first written constitution, the Fundamental Orders of Connecticut, adopted in 1639. It's the 29th most populous state in the nation, with 3.6 million residents as of 2021. The biggest city is Bridgeport with 148,333 residents. It's also one of the smallest with 5,028 square miles. In fact, only two states, Rhode Island and Delaware, are smaller than Connecticut in terms of total area. Nearly 60% of Connecticut is covered in woodland, so it's no wonder forests are one of the state's top natural resources, providing lumber, firewood, and even maple syrup. Other industries in the state include finance, insurance, real estate, healthcare, and engineering. Connecticut is home to many firsts for America including the first color television, hamburger, phone book, Polaroid camera, nuclear-powered submarine, and helicopter. The first speed limit laws for cars were set in 1901 in Connecticut. Drivers were not allowed to travel faster than 12 miles per hour. More than 500 historic ships, a recreation of a 19th-century coastal village, and a working shipyard are on display at Mystic Seaport Maritime Museum. Visitors can even board and sail on some of the historic boats. As another piece of history, you can check out the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center, where you can tour the author's house and learn how her novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, helped change views on slavery in the United States. You can also step into a famous author's home at the Mark Twain House and Museum in Hartford, where writer Samuel Clemens, who used the pen name Mark Twain, lived with his wife and children. The Scoville Memorial Library in Connecticut is the oldest public library in the United States. The library's collection began in 1771 when Richard Smith used community donations to buy 200 books while traveling in London. Did you know that in Hartford, Connecticut, it's illegal to cross the street by walking on your hands? Meanwhile, in Devon, Connecticut, it's illegal to walk backwards after sunset. The state tree is the Charter Oak. The Charter Oak was an unusually large white oak tree growing on Willis Hill in Hartford, Connecticut in the United States, from around the 12th or 13th century until it fell during a storm in 1856. 
The state flower is the mountain laurel. The mountain laurel is perhaps the most beautiful of Native American shrubs. Its fragrance and the massed richness of its white and pink blossoms so vividly contrast with the darker colors of the forests and the fields that they have continually attracted the attention of travelers since the earliest days of our colonization. The state bird is the American robin. Familiar in the summertime throughout North America, the American robin is seen from Alaska to Virginia. Most people do not know that many robins spend the entire winter in New England. They roost among the evergreens in the swamps where they feed on winter berries. The state mammal is the sperm whale. The sperm whale is the largest of the toothed whales, growing up to 60 feet in length and capable of diving over 3,000 feet in search of the squid and cuttlefish on which it feeds. The sperm whale's brain is the largest of any creature that ever existed on Earth. The state fish is the American shad. American shad spend their adult lives at sea and usually return to the river of their birth to spawn. Shad will swim farther upstream than any other herring. In the Connecticut River, shad have migrated as far north as Bellows Falls, Vermont, 272 miles from Long Island Sound, navigating three dams along the way via fishways. I hope you enjoy our videos. If so, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel.